allow the kids to be kids. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So um, today I'm off. I went on Shein and I probably should be calling their name right now because they've been in the limelight for some things lately. But honestly, you really can't beat the prices that they have for pretty decent quality stuff still. Okay, so yesterday I, I think it was the day before, went on there and I literally went crazy and I bought... 250 something dollars worth of clothes and this was after a 58 dollar discount and like using up the points that i had and everything like i won't be buying no more stuff right now. and i feel like you see this is a thing that's the thing with me like right now this is how like last year at this time i bought like a bulk of stuff and like i still have those things because i buy pretty decent things that will last me a while but this is just how i be shopping i buy a good amount of stuff and then i don't buy anything else for a while but, um yeah so that's that bought some stuff on she and now i'm looking on there for some stuff for my daughter because they do have girls clothes and um my mom should be coming sometime soon wow these crop tops i don't know if i'm the only parent but listen i feel like certain things i don't want to see my kid wearing I just feel like it's almost as if it grows them up too quickly or like makes them look like women and I don't want my baby to be looking like a grown woman she's 10 but still I feel like you know kids should be kids kids should live out their childhood you know be children for a while because when you become an adult like you can't take you can't take it back and you can't change it you're an adult forever <laughs> but I feel like you know, kids should be allowed to be kids, and whether it means that you're going to dress them like kids, cute little girls, you know, or just let them be children. We're not going to grow them up too quickly. So I'm buying her some stuff, and tie-dye is in right now, and it's cute, so I think I'm getting her some tie-dye, but I feel like I just cannot buy her a crop top. The last time I had bought uh, something that was a little bit cropped, but the the pants came high so it didn't even look like a crop top afterwards but now i'm just like i don't know that's just not what i want to be seeing her in. and she's just 10 you know i don't know i mean, i feel like any one of the kids too because we have another daughter who's 12 and even her 12 13 i feel like even though she's a teenager i still don't want to see her in those little things that are like up underneath her butt and like allow the kids to be kids anyways I'm trying to find like some items on here now for her so I'm pretty much I'm probably gonna use most of the day to figure out like what I'm getting her and I'm not gonna buy these yet because my mom is not gonna be staying with me this time she's going to Florida so I'm probably gonna have to ship these items directly to her so I don't want to buy them from now but they might sell out because I'm gonna have to ship them to her so I'll probably have to wait hope to, chances are some of them are gonna sell out by the time she gets here but they're also gonna have new stuff so we'll see by that time anyways yeah that's what I wanted to come and see. Hi guys, it's way later and I'm giving you guys up close and personal because my hair is looking a little crazy. So we aren't doing all that. I just did my nails and I had this really pretty color and I decided to use it. But here's my problem, right? The fan is probably blowing on y'all. Like, I love the colors and everything, but I really have to stick to these type of polishes. These ones, let me show you guys. Because these are the ones that dry the quickest. This one that I use is Solo Sue. Okay, Sue. And um, it takes a little minute to dry. And then, you know, I'm putting the top coat over it. Like the gel top coat from Kiss. And it's just too much. I have to be sitting down for too long for it to dry. Because the machine that I have that would dry, it's not working. But look at the state of the living room floor every time I do my nails. Sometimes it's worse than this. This is pretty good. But I love my nails. I think they're so cute. And my toes are white. But love this. And I think... Oh, I think I'm going to probably get back into... Like changing the color every time I refill it. And stop sticking to the one same color. I was going to do pink. And I'm just like... No, I want to do something different. Because I feel like I always do pink. Which is the pink one that I showed you guys just now. But I decided to change it. It's past 2 o'clock. Okay? 
the alarm just went off earlier it's 2 42 and i have not taken anything out to cook because i don't know if i still want to cook i don't have to because there's currently food in the fridge there's chicken in that um pot what's that sound I'm going to show you guys this thing that we have in the kitchen. There's chicken and there's stuff. Oh, fridge is full. Oh. But it's better to have food than to not, right? So we're grateful. But, so what do I want to do? Is this curry goat? This is goat to curry. Move, man. So I'll just put that in this thing and allow it to defrost at its own pace. But I'm going to show you guys this thing. This thing, I came home and saw it. So I'm like, what is that? And my husband said the landlord gave it to him and said it's something for insects. And it's supposed to have like a high-pitched sound where they don't stay around. And I swear, I can, I swear to God, I'm hearing it. I think it's, I don't know. I feel like I'm hearing it. It's making a whistling sound. Or maybe it's because he told me that it's like a high frequency that only bugs and shit are supposed to hear why i think i'm all of a sudden hearing it but i swear to god i think i can hear that thing going off such a high pitch oh so annoying anyways that's what i have going on i have to clean this mess up i just need to put those things back inside of the containers and that's pretty much it and then i'm gonna be chilling so yeah so guys i'm not showing my face right now because i look crazy but or aunt send over her wig for me to straighten up her this one is a curly wig and this is how she looks and the other one back there is straight so i straightened those two and i'm just here chilling thinking about changing the color color of my nails because i feel like this polish is annoying me like it i feel like it already smudged a little bit on a few fingers anyways yeah that's that i have a um peanut butter and jelly sandwich here that i'm gonna eat but that's what's up Hi guys, it's the following day. I clearly did not end the vlog yesterday, but the day offs are over and back to work I go. I just, I was watching a video yesterday and homegirl was pretty much saying in the mornings when you get up and you're about to start your day, you have to put it out in the universe that you're going to have an amazing day. It's going to be good, smooth, all the good stuff that the day could entail. And like you'll get through your day with like a positive attitude, which is exactly what I want. So that's what we're doing. I've had way better hair days, but we're grateful that it's staying up right now. But I'm about to go put my shoes on, wake my husband up, and leave because it's time to leave. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.